Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I'm going to make some pink flamingo earrings. They were inspired by last week's live stream where I made a pink flamingo earrings, pendants, brooches and a ring. What you're going to need for this project is your wire. I have 20 gauge artistic wire in fuchsia and in rose. You're going to need your tools and uh, earring hooks. So I'm going to start with two 12 to 15 inch pieces of the 20 gauge wire and a little hack to make the earrings the same size as I work on them at the same time. So I'm just going to start at the top, bend this on a bit of a right angle and then I'm going to go down and form the eye. But you're going to have to separate them. So we're going to pull them apart and we'll do the first eye. So we're going to bring this around to the back and then just pull it a bit to make it a bit smaller. And then this side, I like to do it the opposite way. So they're mirror image. So we're gonna bring this around to the front and then again, pull it a bit. So now we're gonna bend this out to start the beak and then down. And then we're gonna bend it back. So I'll take my flat pliers and then push it so it makes a sharp bend and then squeeze it. And then we're just going to take the round pliers again and bring it down. So we have the beak and then we're just going to make a little bit of the bottom of the head here. And then we're going to bring that one down. So we have the beginning point. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we'll just take this, bend it out, down, bend this back that way, push it, bend down this way, and then up, and then down. Then we're going to line the two up together. So we're going to put them beside each other, and we want to form the neck. So we're going to bring that one out here, and then just smooth it around. I'll link up in the description where you can get the template to get the shape a little more accurate. And then we're just going to take this, bend it that way around here. And then we want to bend it down for the legs. So just take this flat pliers. These are my tweezer nose pliers and then bend it straight down. And then we're going to decide on the length of the leg. So say it's about here. We're just going to take this, make it very simple and bend it across. So now you can separate them again. So we're just going to separate them and we'll bend this one to the back, pinch it, and then bend it straight up. So it's straight up and the other side, you're going to bend it the opposite way, bend it to the front, pinch it, and bring that one straight up. So now you can put them back together, line them up, and then we're going to take our round pliers and bend that back. And then we can get our flat pliers, take it about the halfway point, give it a little bend, and then we're going to separate them again. And we want this one to go to the back there. So give it a pinch. And then we can just take this one, bend it down, and then bring this one to that side, pinch it back here, and then back here. And then we can take our round pliers and just go up here. So now we'll line the two of them up together again. Just make sure they line up. You can hold this with the flat pliers just to make sure it's in the right place. And then just kind of figure out where you're going to bend it. You can give it a little bit of a jog there. Separate them. And then we're actually going to bend that twist, give it a half twist so it goes to one side. And we're going to pinch it. Same on this side, give it a half turn towards the front. If you need to help the bend a bit, just put the flat pliers back in there. Give it a bend 
So now we have these ones going up at the same angle. Line them up again so they're lined up and then we want to curve this one around. So we're just going to curve it around. You can get a round form to form sort of the top of the wing. Just adjust it how you like. We're going to bring this one around here. If it's too big use a smaller part of your round form. Bring it around just to give it a bit of a start so they're more or less even, then you can separate it. If you need it a little smaller, use your looping pliers or a smaller round form to bring it in. You can rotate it in a little bit more too. Just keep checking it to see what looks good. And then we're going to take the round pliers, bring it down, and then take our flat pliers and bend it to the front. So we've got this so far and then we can go ahead and just hold it, bring it around, follow the curve at the back and then just take these round pliers and bring it around so it looks like that and then pinch this in a bit if you have to. You can get the round form again and bring it in. So we're going to just see how you like the look of it. Turn it pretty well and then we're going to hold that and bring that one around and really give it a good little tug. Clip it. Use your flat pliers to push it down and to make a simple loop at the top just cut it to 3 8 to half an inch. Take your round pliers, bring it back, hold the end, bring it in to close that circle. Use the flat pliers to flatten it out a bit. I'm just going to take the earring hook. I buy the surgical steel hooks. Close it up. So there you have the finished earrings and you can see they're pretty well exactly the same size. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.